For many musicians, the circle of fifths is conceived as a circle. But this is a convenience that has sadly diluted important characteristics in the circle of fifths that has resulted in misunderstanding in music theory. The circle of fifths is actually a series that, theoretically, expands in both directions infinitely, but practicality keeps the series somewhat controlled. If you want to hold on to the idea that the circle of fifths is actually circular, at least consider that it might be more like a spiral, in which the two ends of the cycle never really meet. I'll show you what I mean. Here I laid out the circle of fifths as a spectrum of scales, with the C major scale in the middle. The scales, and keys represented by the scales, to the right have sharp notes in them, and the scales or keys to the left have flat notes. Each time we refunctionalize the tetrachords in the previous lectures, we built new major scales with exactly one new alteration, and that new alteration was either sharp scale degree 7 or flat scale degree 4. Scales that have only one difference between them are neighbors on the circle of fifths. Scales that are adjacent on the circle of fifths have what we call closely related keys. Those that are not adjacent have distant keys. They have more than one note difference. We will revisit this idea in a more advanced course. Notice that the keys F-sharp major at the far right of the spectrum and G-flat major at the far left of the spectrum are enharmonic equivalents. Enharmonic equivalent means having the same sound and can refer to a single pitch or an entire scale. Enharmonic equivalents are tones that have different letter names but sound the same. They are the same button on the piano keyboard. This is where many novice musicians wrap the circle of fifths around and reattach the series into a neat and orderly circle, but beware, F-sharp and G-flat are not the same. They are spelled differently for a good reason that will be clear in advanced study. As scales and keys, they are distant they have no scale degrees in common. They are as different from each other as the words raise and raise, raise with a Z and raise with an S, which could be understood as antonyms. F sharp and G flat, like all enharmonic equivalents, should never occupy the same position in a circle of fifths or in any music theoretical model. Many composers have capitalized on enharmonic equivalents, usually for extraordinary expressive effects. But these instances are expressive precisely because they are not the same. Give the homework for this section a try. It involves comparing scales and referencing the circle of fifths. The next section will focus on key signatures.